All right, hey, hey, hey. Well, this is Chris Minori, and um, normally I would be on here um, uh, doing my show, uh, my web show. I fucking suck at video games, and I do that show because I do indeed fucking suck at video games. However, today we're not playing video games. Um, I'm also an author, if you don't know, and you should, because I know you've bought all of my books. <laughs> you've seen all my plays. You should have anyway. <laughs> if not, what are you doing here? No, I'm just kidding. Don't leave. Um, so, uh, my latest book that I'm working on is called Penny Dreadful. It's a young adult book about a 13-year-old girl who, um, discovers all the, a lot of rooms in her house are portals through time, and she visits some pretty um, famous people through history. It's a pretty funny book. And I just finished the final draft, and so I thought what I would do is um, start going through my formatting phase and, and kind of do some videos on that, so you get an idea of, you know, some of the things you need to do as you're getting ready to... Um, to publish, so, uh, if you're a self-publisher, of course. Um, I self-publish. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, you only self-publish because you can't uh, get somebody to publish your stuff for you. And uh, yeah, yeah, okay, maybe so. I don't know. I didn't try. <laughs> I like the idea of self-publishing. Uh, I get to, so for instance, um, a lot of my books, they're adult books, this is my first younger adult book, and um, uh, a lot of publishing companies won't allow you to step out of the genre that you you work on, and so um, uh, this is nice because I get to do whatever the hell I want, and uh, anybody who knows me knows I am a guy who likes to do whatever the hell I want, um, and uh, yeah, and so we're going to start by doing some formatting. I wanted to show you something today. Now I use, uh, you can use whatever word processor program you want. Um, I use Google Docs. Uh, it's free, first of all. Um, I like it better than Word because um, Microsoft Word, they don't put out that many updates. Um, and, and Word's not a bad program, don't get me wrong. It's a little pricey. You can use a free version uh, that's online. Um, but it's a little um, uh, crippled as opposed to the full version of, of Word. So I use I use Google Docs, and uh, I like it because no matter where I am on um, what PC, I got a bunch of different PCs and 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 stuff. Uh, it allows me to um, just jump on and boom, I've got the latest version of my doc. Uh, it allows you to go through step down through different changes if I make a mistake. Um, so anyway, there's a little bit of a learning curve if you haven't used it before, but it's nice. It's all kinds of um, extensions and stuff, and the Google constantly updates their stuff, and it, it works very nicely with like Google Drive. Oh, hang on, I got an itch. Oh, look, it's the 13th Doctor. Um, uh, it, it works nicely with, with Google Drive, with all of my different pro Google programs. I just like using the whole suite. Um, but sometimes it's very frustrating. And uh, so we're going to take a look at, um, oh, look, there's a couple idiots there. All right, uh, so let's bring up uh, da, 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 Google Docs. All right, and here's my drive. Here's where I keep all my crap. And um, we are, here's my latest draft of Penny Dreadful. So... Um, First thing we want to do is I want to uh, go into, I'm very big on organization of your stuff, right? It just makes things so much, so, oh, oh, Don shit. Happy Father's Day, by the way, to all you fathers out there. So let's go to my favorites. Let's go to Penny Dreadful. Penny Dreadful. And you kind of see how I've started doing. I did a beta reader program, and so I've got all of my stuff um, in here. Um uh, organized and we want to go to my drafts and we want to create a new draft so we're going to create a new folder blah 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 folder upload um, now this one we're going to call draft 7 uh, oh yeah <laughs> I guess I should create a new folder 
we'll call this draft seven. Okay. And uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, ah, I screwed up. That's not what I want to do. I want to go new, new folder. That's what I wanted to do. Draft seven. Okay. So we'll go to draft six. We're going to make a copy. Uh, da -da, where is it? Uh, make copy. And we're going to call this draft seven. And this will oh, uh, rename. So let's do that. And change that to seven. Okay, and then we're just going to move that along. Uh, da, 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 move to. Move it. Okay, now before we go here, because I already started fixing this problem I had, and the problem I had was if I go to draft, I think draft five maybe. Um, that, that, yeah, yeah, see, so here was my problem. My problem was, um, look at how big these, these, uh, indents are, right? They're way, way too big. Um, so, uh, easy way to fix this is to highlight everything, right? And there's two ways. So the first way is you can just grab this. And take it where you want to go. And I would go one, two, there's one, two, three, four, five, right there. Boom. And but notice none of this other stuff has changed. Um the easiest way, because it only does that by page. So I could do it's take that back. So the next thing we do is we do control A and that highlights everything. And now uh I like to go into, uh, I think it's format, yeah, align and indent, align and indent, go to indention options, and we're going to change that to zero, and this is first line indent, right, that is your first line, that's where you indent on, and it's 0 0.5, we're going to change that to 0 0.3, let's try that. Okay, and it's thinking, it's thinking, and there you go, uh, that's really good, right? Now, here's my problem. Look at that. Why is that wrong? If I go down further, they all worked, most of them. But see, some of them are just so screwy. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. It was driving me crazy. Well, let me show you how to figure this out. Yeah, I thought it was, and I do this my wife. I, I drive her crazy because she was what who wanted me to switch to Google Docs. She is a Google queen, loves Google, uh, definitely a Google apologist. And so I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, this is Google. Google's fucking it up. Why, why is it doing this? Um, it's not. It's my fault. I'm going to show you how I can tell that and how to fix some of these. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be one-offs because the problem is mistakes I made. And I'll show you how to tell that is. So there used to be, we need to look at all of the punctuation or, or what they call non-printable characters, okay? Um, and they call it that because if I set this up and then I print, it's not going to show these characters, mm. right? And so I go, um, there used to be an extension. Google didn't used to do this naturally. Now in Word, in uh, LibreOffice, which I also like to use, um, it um, uh, they also have where you show um, uh, your various characters that are hidden. And so normally I used to use an extension called Show. But notice now it's just that help. I don't really need that anymore. I could probably remove it. Now Google is finally, and this is what I said, they update all the time, and they added naturally. So if I go to, is it view? Yeah, show non-printing characters. Boom. Now, you see how this works, right? Every one of these, that's a return line. Um, here's my page break. And then you see all these little dots here? These dots uh, show me a space, 
okay and notice I don't have any space on my indents those are natural indents right uh, that I originally set up uh, well that you just watched me set up um, but now look when I get down to these see that I hit tabs these are tabs so this tells me that what I need to do is go back and that's where my natural indent is and so for any of these that are set up like that I need to manually go through and fix them um, and I can also tell let's see if I can find it here we go I did an extra space here right so there that that was wrong now it's fixed because uh, I only want the one space right um, um, here's another one let's fix that now I could go through and do all that but I've already started this so let's we're gonna leave this back at the original um, all right, let's get out of here. Now, we're going to go to my draft 7, and we're going to do the same thing. All right, like I said, I already started fixing this. Now, here's how I do my formatting. Um, I, when I publish, <coughs> I do, um, first, I fix as my, I, I publish it, uh, that's what I was saying. Oh, uh oh, rideshare driver gets brutalized. Um, what I do is um, I publish in Kindle, right? Uh, well, I use KDP, but I publish a uh, electronic version for Kindle. I publish a paperback, and then once I publish the paperback, I will do an Audible book, and I'll do my own Audible book and, and publish it. And we're going to go through all this in this series of videos, but. There are differences between Kindle and um, and a paperback, and and um, a, a real easy example is page numbers. You don't page number on Kindle. Um, Kindle is going to um, uh, wind up. Um, you don't need page numbers. It doesn't work that way. Um, so, <laughs> what we're going to do to start is um, I format as much as I need to up until the point that I'm going to have to start doing differences. So I do everything first that is going to um, is going to uh, apply to both both formats, right? And then once I do that, then I'll split them into two streams. One will be the Kindle version, one will be the paperback version. So right now we're doing all the, the things that are the same between the two so let's go put our non-printable characters this is fine because this page is you know let's change it to seven uh this page is going to uh, be gone when we get started okay i like to make sure that i have two returns when i start each new chapter i do two returns right and then my line for the chapter title and i've got a set of chapter titles i'll do that next uh, and I'm not going to do a video on that one and then two more lines and then we go and real important when you're doing um, a fictional <clears throat> a fictional oh hi Mike Hill when you do a fictional oh by the way let me throw this shout out to Mike Hill friend of mine uh, he just published his book um, uh, Chopped uh, it's a, a hard-boiled cop detective part of his John Travali uh, series. So uh, go look for that on Amazon. Anyway, uh, when you do a nonfiction, first paragraph in each chapter has no indent. So that's why, and I've already fixed that one. So let's, uh, this will be a real short video because I'm not going to make you sit through the whole thing, right? So we just start going through. Do we have any, uh, any thing needs to be fixed here? There we go. Got to fix that right there. Uh, keep going. Da, 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 da. Here's another one. I don't know why I kept doing that. Uh, keep going. Da, da, da. That was it. All right. Yeah, I get it. First paragraph. Make sure there's no indent. Uh, da, da, da. That looks good. Go to the next one. Okay, I got my two. Got that. Two more. Keep going. We're at the end there. Start going down. Da, da. Uh, uh, don't be reading my book. <laughs> there we go. Here's another one I got to fix. You can see it's very slow moving, but it's got to be done. I mean, that's that's uh, 
It's just part of the dealio. Jesus Christ, I screwed a lot of this up, didn't I? Uh, 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 uh. I got Partridge Family stuck in my head for some reason. All right, you can see I already start going through some of these. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'm not going to make you sit through all these little single space or double spaces I got to fix. Now, here's another way to uh, figure out a double space and fix it, right? Is go edit, go um, find and replace. So here, we'll show an example. Let's, uh, let's add a space here. Boom. Okay, I got two spaces there now. So if I go edit, I go find and replace. Find, I'm going to hit the space bar twice. Okay. And then come here and replace it with one. And look, I got 90 of those. We're going to go replace all. Okay. Kill that. Um, and if we go back to my uh, expert, where is it? Oh, that's all the way at the end. Let's get back to the beginning. Come here. Oh, come on, man. Back to the beginning. And let's go find that word. So it was edit, find, place. I think it was expert. Go next. Oh, no, it was an expert. I don't know what it was. Oh, it was exact, I bet. Um, let's see. Let's make this easier to show you. All right, we're going to do it right here on the first part, right? Add that second space. Then we're going to go back up here, and we're going to go back to find and replace. We're going to get rid of that. Come on. All right, do our two spaces. Do one, and go replace all. Okay, now... If I come back up here, and we go down, you can see it didn't fix it all. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why that didn't work. Let's try one more time and see if we can get it. Uh, again, go edit, find, and replace. All right. It only did one space. That's why. Okay. We go one, two. Come on. There we go. Now we got to see it. Now it's actually highlighted there. Now we're going to replace it with one. We go replace all. Okay, close that. Come back down. And now it added an extra space. I don't know. What a pain in the ass. Okay. Well, this video is not making me look like I know what the fuck I'm doing, does it? Uh, so, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Back to the manual step, since that thing didn't want to fucking work. All right. Um, anyway, that's basically it. Let's go down more and find some of those um, fucked up. I know we had some here because I just saw them. Yeah, no. Where is one? I know we got one here somewhere. zip through and see what we can find. Well, it looks like actually I got a lot of those, but I know there's some more here. And the only way I'm going to find out is by going through the entire book is what I'm going to have to do to fix all those little spaces. Um, actually, it looks like as I got moved along, I got less and less of the double spaces. Um, all right. Yeah. Well, oh, here's one. All right. And um, the other thing you want to do is, uh, well, you know, here's what, we could make this a little bit easier by going, again, we'll at least let it take us there. For some reason, uh, the automatic find and replace isn't working, but that's fine. Let's 
drop our cursor there, go to edit, go find, replace. We're going to come here, move that over to the side, and we're going to go uh, all right, one attempt. So you can see here, here's one of my fucked up things. Get that there. There we go. Those are fixed. By the way, end of every chapter, whether you think you need it or not, add a page break. Um, because when you go on the Kindle, it will fuck shit up if you don't. Okay. All right. So now it looks like I've got only three more of those. So let's go find them. Oh, there they are. There we go. Now we got zero. So I'm going to go through the document anyway, just to double check, because as you already saw, uh, it's not always as simple as it seems. And all word processors get a little goofy sometimes. But I think, at least according to this, uh, we don't have any more double spaces uh, or extra spaces, we'll call it. That's it. Um, that's very, very simple. Um, <coughs> But, uh, and a lot of you may have already known that, but for those of you who didn't, that is really your next step, um, when you, well, your first step when you jump into formatting is making sure that you don't have double spaces, making sure you've got um, uh, all the paragraph lines that you're supposed to have. Let's see, like if we go to the next chapter. See, here we go. One, two, and then I only went one. What did I do in the last chapter? Do I want to do one or two? I think I want to do, let's see. I almost feel like maybe I'm just going to do one. Here we go. Yeah, I think I, I started with two and then I switched to one. So uh, let's delete a paragraph, a uh, line, right? And we're going to go down through every chapter, make sure every chapter, look, that one had a line and a space for some reason, right? You want to go through every single one. And it's, well, never mind about that. All right, go down to the next chapter. And now, and no paragraph, no indent, right? that even though that one looked a little weird because it starts with dialogue you still want to do it because you want to stay with the same format all the way through whatever you decide you don't have to do just one line here you don't have to do two down but um, uh, whatever you decide to do make sure that it's all uh, the same right you not skip it anything so probably what I'll be doing is going through the first one. I'll be making sure I got a page break at the end of each chapter, be making sure I got one line here, be making sure I got two returns here, and making sure that's there. All right? And I'm just going to do that every single chapter. And I know it is a pain in the ass to have to go through the entire thing. But, again, it's what you got to do. You want your book to be look professional. When you're a self-publisher, you're judged, um, and you don't want you don't want mistakes. You don't want uh, typos. You don't want your page numbering to be goofed, um, uh, and you want everything formatted the way the same, right? So, for instance, if we go to my next chapter, there's my page break. We're going to actually return that page break because I like to do it on the. Uh, I like to put my page break at the bottom when I can. Sometimes you can't because you're at your last line, but I do it. See here? Boom. Left one off. Fix that. So when you're typing, you know, when you're, whoop, did 
I just see. I guess I didn't. I thought I saw an extra space. Uh, apparently, I did not. Okay. Go back down through the next one. Here's my page break. Uh, two, one, and at the end. Perfect. All right. That's it. That's really, uh, I got to go through this whole document and um, fix all of these things. But um, real quick video this time. Um, our next video, I don't know what we'll go through. We'll probably go through adding um, uh, your extra content, right? And that's your, you know, um, dedication page, your copyright page, and, and all that kind of stuff. That's going to be more of a lecture. I'm not going to show you me setting it up. I'm going to throw it all in there and then just kind of do a quick review of, of it, okay? Oh, hey, it's Peter Lipke's father. He was kind of like my dad away from dad when I was uh, a kid. All right, anyway, uh, that's it. Very short video, but very important video. You've got to do this stuff. If you don't, your book's going to look like crap, and people are going to think you're unprofessional, mainly because you're unprofessional. Okay? Thanks, guys. Bye.